Hi guys and welcome back to your old toys. Now today, <laughs> yes we are on the ground because we are going to be reviewing the Darth Vader carrying case and the camera is set pretty far back. That's because the case is just too big for frame in the uh, on the table where I usually film so that is why we're filming here so here's the outside of the case the front of the case now probably wondering what the back looks like so if you turn it around without knocking out all the figures inside the back is just plain there's no details aside from a massive hole which, as many of you know, it is actually a secret carrying handle, being that which I will cut to the clip in a second. It can be used to carry around your action figures. So, well, let's just cut to the clip of me carrying this case around. So, guys, I'm carrying this case around. Um, I'm holding it by the secret carry handle, and um, I do have action figures inside of it, but when I kind of walk around with it, it rattles around and, well, the figures just do not stay in the carry slots very well. So now I am going to cut and we are going to show you, or I am going to show you what the inside of this case looks like. So guys, the moment you have all been waiting for. The time to open the case. Top tab. My right, your left tab. My left, your right tab. Lay it down. Be prepared for a mess. It was a bad design flaw, so just what I thought. Don't blame me, blame Kenner. It's not the best design, but I get it. It, it it's not meant to. It's at least it's not a playset. At least it is not a playset. But. It is a design flaw, but it is what it is. It is still a very cool display piece, nonetheless. This is the first cardboard insert that came with it. And the first case. A version of the Darth Vader carrying case. This isn't the first case made by Kenner, if I'm not choosing it. Han Solo, small head Han. That's why it's the first one. So, this Darth Vader case is one of, if there was, there seemed to be one rule in the 1980s. If you had action figures, and let me get this clear, they are not dolls. These are not dolls. They are action figures. Okay, they're action figures. If you call these dolls, I don't know what to say. But if you had action figures in the 1980s, there seemed to be some unspoken rule that you had to have this case. It is nearly impossible to find a 1980s action figure collection without this. And it is very, very common. But, here we go. I've done my best to piece together and make a case look cool. I just am missing a couple figures, like 
IG88. He's that slash empty. Luke Skywalker, best friend fatigues. The original Luke Skywalker. Dengar, Star Destroyer Commander. And that's it, really. But here we go. Time to open the Chamber of Secrets. No, yes. It's just the accessory storage chamber, according to Kenneth. The Empire Chest accessory storage chamber. Now, the part of the video you guys have all been waiting for to see the things that are so valuable, yet so many of us lost in the 1980s. The original accessories. Oh, yes. The best part of... And you guys that own Star Wars toys, those of you who don't, won't, won't know this feature in your life, won't be complete until you do. Grabbing these accessories and letting them sit in your hands. It is the most amazing feeling ever. <clears throat> yes. Yoda Kane. Yoda Snake. Oh, look, an original dozen. It's only rubber. A bunch of accessories this gun came with Hoth Luke Skywalker and the Rebel Commander although it would have been way cooler if Luke came with a lightsaber because he never did shoot a shot in the film not even on Bespin when he had his face off against Darth Vader he almost shot a shot at, Luke, at Boba Fett but he didn't this is the vinyl cape drywall blaster. It has a little nub on the handle or on the uh, stock. But it was rarely ever packed in with the regular drywall. So that's a neat thing to have and I know this came with the cloth cape drawa because my it is my dad's original the Yoda cane pretty sick piece and C-3PO's backpack which is one of the few figures that came with the accessory intended for another figure Hot survival kit stuff that was packed in with the Rebel troop transport, gas masks, and backpacks. I do have more backpacks in the that wouldn't fit in there. So, for this video, Bosk's rifle, and that's the only other really new unique piece besides the Agnot lunchbox. Oh my gosh, what a lame accessory right here. I mean, I get it. He carried it around, but what would have been cool is if they made it a little bit thicker and you could open it up and, like, put a Bespin blaster, or Imperial blaster in here, Leia blaster, Smuggler's blaster. It... It would have been a cool design and given the F not much more play value too. So guys, that's really it for the Darth Vader case. Nothing really special about it other than it is Darth Vader's head. So guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.